This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch. Andrew Moore Crispin here at CTIA 2011. Now, we all carry around, like, what, a dozen devices in our pockets? Just about. I'm here with Jim Hunter from IDAP, who's going to show us a solution that will actually help us to charge all of our devices, pretty much regardless of what tip we're actually using, and make it actually look not like a big rat's nest of wires. Exactly. And that's I the like whole, this idea. It really is. You know, you know the mobile lifestyle is, is embraced by so many people today. It's not just geeks and nerds like myself, you know, and business people, soccer moms, grandparents. And what's great about this is that they actually now are embracing this new technology, but they actually have to overcome some of the negative. So the negative is, I gotta charge the darn thing. Right. I mean, and they're very power hungry. It's not like a few years back where the phones were smaller, it did less, and I can go a couple of days. I, I can go through half the day before I start looking for a charge. I'm yes. always hunting for a charge. Absolutely. So what IDAP does is it solves that solution of not having all these little power transformers hugging the wall and all these wires where it looks like a tech shop right. in your kitchen. Yeah. You know? see, I like that. My wife doesn't. No, your wife don't no. like that. No. I like, I like people to come in and see all my devices kind of sitting there. It's, it's a know, showcase. This is, this is all, these are yeah, all the things that stuff. I own. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But right, Mama so doesn't like that Let's too much. start with this one. I, yeah. We looked at IDAP before. Yes. Uh, I think the i3 we looked at That's on right. Gadget TV, which is another show we do on, on um, butterscotch.com. Um, but this looks a lot better than the one that we saw. Yeah, I, so I, like to, I like to look at it as the, uh, the evolution of a product. And the old i3 is kind of like an old CRT television. Right. This is like a flat panel LCD television, if you will, as far as the aesthetics. Sure. And so now we, have, we still have access to exactly. uh, three different charging ports. We have our interchangeable tip design. What's great about that is that it's a patented type design that we, we've seen out there that really protects your product. The reason it protects it has shock absorbency built into it. Okay. So, if so you we're not going to bust the uh, connector. And that's always a big fear for someone. For sure. You know, I don't want to ruin my two hundred dollar phone. You know, at discount, if yes. you will, and by using a device. So if I bump it, it protects it. And what's great about this, you're allowed, you're able to charge all your mobile devices and pretty much everything that has a battery that's mainstream today we have a tip for okay and in this case this is the i4 it comes with six tips right now okay. it comes with an iPhone iPod a micro USB mini USB Sony Ericsson Nokia and Samsung so most of our stuff is going to be covered right out of the box yeah there's almost 2,000 different devices this covers right okay. there I mean that's amazing yeah you know for a US retail of about $60 very inexpensive to cover that many products and what's great about it is you can change the orientation for instance I have my droid up here where it lays horizontally because of the way the tip is. Yeah. But if I needed to move something to the front or the back, it's, a bit, it's simple as just popping that button, moving to the front. Now, what's unique about this product is this is, has the power that you need for your power hungry devices. So right. I, what I mean by that is that, you know, smartphones like Androids and iPhones are very high amp draw. Absolutely. Yeah. And many chargers that are multiple chargers can't handle that amperage. They just don't have enough deuce in them. Yeah. Okay. And then you start getting error messages on your device like inappropriate or an unapproved yes. charger. Right. This actually can charge three iPhones simultaneously on the top right here because it has the amp to cover that. And I see we have an iPad plugged into the side here by USB. That's right. So that means it's got at least a two, a two amp draw. Two amp right? draw right there too. Very so nice. each one on the top has around one and on the side it has two. So I can actually power my iPad. And that's always something that people who own iPads, they found out the hard way that yes. not all USB are equal. Right. I mean, matter of fact, there's many laptops that don't have enough amps yeah. out of the. So this way, you can charge your iPad. You can power your iPad in your bedroom, your kitchen, not just in your home office. I mean, places where you like to congregate. Because if you're going to use it in your home office, why don't you use your laptop right. or your tower? Absolutely. You know? So. All right, so moving right along, let's let's take a quick look at this guy. What is this one? Well, this is a, a smaller platform, right? You know, uh, for people who don't need as many devices, and what this is called the i2 Plus, and what it does, it still uses the same tip design. It still has the same one amp draw on each tip top, and then it has the USB on the side, Very two cool. amps, so you can charge more devices. This retails US for about thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. It comes with same type of six tip configuration we showed you here, so you have all that compatibility. You know, and if you have other tips you need, let's say you have double A, triple A batteries. And you're right. char charging these, and you know I use mine a lot for my my mouse for my computer. Yes. Okay. And it's always you know, my keyboard's always yeah, running out. Wireless, the wireless. Yeah. So so instead of having that hip hugging wall type charger, I can pop this right here on my desktop. Have these right to my 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 use anytime I need to get to them. Right. I have to get out of my desk and you know and get up. You yeah. know, and, like and, a sucker. Like right? a, yeah. Absolutely. You know, so uh, it's right there for me. And what I love about it too is I don't have to charge it all day long like all these other chargers yeah. out there. There's a little 
button on the top here, it says on off switch. It's very simple technology, you know, but a lot of products don't have on off switches. Sure. So if I hit that on off switch, what it does, it turns off all the power going to this device. Because all it's going to the wall, and this is very important, it's not a big huge transformer, it's a simple two prong plug. Well, I was going to say, another issue when you're charging uh, your batteries is, I mean, invariably the, the, the you know, the charger's going to be like this big, actually plug directly into the wall. Right. You don't have access to, you know, like three ports on your power bar or your entire outlet anymore. Exactly. And this, this is, we, reason we designed it this way is all the charging technology is built in here. It's international, 240 volts, so you can travel in the world. As long as you have a tip adapter for the wall, this will do all the trans uh, conversion, if you will, okay. of the voltage. Cool. And, you know, this, well, the reason we did it that way is also, like you mentioned, this is great for the kitchen. You know, think about in the United States, and I'm sure it's the same way in Canada, yeah. is that the, what, as far as doing home improvements, the biggest money spent in kitchens. But that's where everyone charges their devices, it yeah. seems like today. They, yeah. People drop the purse off there, they drop off their phones, they charge them. And what happens is your kitchen starts looking like an electronic shop. Yeah. Well, this is really aesthetically pleasing. It's simple. It's a lightweight platform. And, you know, we're getting a lot of attraction to this, not just normal tech people, but people do decor. Right. Because it's 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 eye-friendly. Yeah, because, I mean, all these devices aren't really just about us geeks anymore, right? It really no, no. is really no. is mainstream yeah. stuff. All right, so now we have the latest edition. That's right. This this has a, a bit of an environmental story behind it. It sure does. And it's I understand it's not that uh, usual kind of rip-off environmental story, like, you know, uh, I didn't I didn't idle my car at the curb while we while we designed this device. Exactly. So tell me about this one. It's, it's called the i1 Eco. Okay. Eco, and it uses our interchangeable tip design again. Yep. And what's nice about this is in case I have another game, like a, if I have a tip that I'm going to use for, let's say, a gaming console, like for a Nintendo, while I'm in the car, or my child, or myself, if I'm really into my games, right. I, I can charge this while I'm in the car as well. So I can change it out, very simple. And what's great about this product is this, is this. It's, it's simple to use, it's, it's uh, compatible, it's got an extra USB port, so right. I can charge other USB devices as well. It's for the home and in the car. And the reason this eco is like you brought up earlier, it's not because of the nice brown box. And that's eco-friendly, don't that's get me wrong. Step, I okay. guess, yeah. Yep. And as we look here, this comes with three tips, a micro USB, a mini USB, and an iPhone iPod. Okay. That covers about 90% of the, yeah, the marketplace in North yeah. America. But the reason it's eco is not just because of the white plastic and the little green highlights Although we put here. Although recycled materials, I understand. Exactly, it right. is. But the main eco aspect of this is that it's truly one of the few chargers out there that turns itself off when it's done charging. In right, case so we're not getting that vampire power. Vampire power being when the charger itself is still using energy, even though the device that it's supposed to be charging has long since kind of said, okay, I'm full, uh, that's enough. Exactly, you know, and most chargers, most phones regulate the charge nowadays, but the charger keeps trying to charge it over and over again. And instead of having a wall-hugging transformer that's always on, like you said, it's always using power, what this does is once the phone says, I'm full, okay, and that's how it usually works, yep. this product is smart enough to say, okay, enough. I'm yeah. not going to try to feed you anymore. It turns off 100%. So there's zero draw of energy okay. from the wall or from the car. And in order to get it to charge over again or start the charging sequence, either remove it or you hit this little brink button on the side. And what it does, it starts the charging sequence over again. Right. So it's wallet friendly. It's environmental friendly. It's functional. And what, when I say wallet friendly, and this is kind of blows me away that what we, we what we did here was because usually when you talk about environmentally friendly, it's like a 30% upcharge, right? Sure. And you know you're gonna get hit on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What we did was we have this unit, this main unit, okay, that does the charging, and then you have a car charger, and then you have, which is this device right here. So it replaces the wall outlet right. cord. The three tips, US for $24.99. Oh, that's good. They're very affordable. All right, cool. Yeah, and that's what I like about it. Yeah, you know, it's, a, it's affordable. It's easy to use. It covers all my boxes. You know, it checks them all off. And it always, more importantly, I guess, when the uh, end of the day, it charges the things I love to use. That's the most important thing, yeah. really. I mean, yeah. environmental story aside, it's nice. if it doesn't really do what you need it to do, it's, it doesn't, make really sense. doesn't matter. That's right. All right, Jim. So, what's your website if we want to go and get more information on all the great products you yes, guys make? Yes, www. Of course, idapweb.com. And we can actually, you go there. There's a place where you actually find where you can buy our products all throughout the world. Okay, very cool. Yeah. For links, pricing, all that great stuff, hit up the show notes on butterscotch.com. Jim, thank you very much. Thanks, appreciate it. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash butterscotch.